What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the third episode of the Budget Stuff series. And this week we are having a look at not one, not two, but three hairstyling products from Axe. All right, so yeah, Axe won the majority vote in last week's community tab poll, so here we are. Now, they do actually have four hairstylers, so I have here their Natural Look Understated Cream, their Urban Messy Look Flexible Paste, and their Urban Messy Look Matte Wax. They also have a pomade, but I opted to skip that one because a, pomades still aren't really my thing, you know, I, I, these were more of like a natural to matte finish, um, supposedly. So I went with those because I don't typically like a lot of shine, I don't typically go for pomades, um, so yeah, I just decided to skip on that one. So we can start straight away with the packaging. All of these come in these 2.64 ounce or 75 gram aluminum tins and they all retail for $6.99 each and you can find them literally everywhere. And on the underside of each jar, there's a sticker with the hold level, the finish, and then if you peel that sticker back under there, you've got the ingredients list as well as their three-step directions, which are exactly the same for all three products. So the packaging is actually pretty decent. I don't mind it at all. I know they, they used to come in these really fucking hideous, like, plastic, giant plastic tubs with weird... If I can find a picture of them, I'm gonna put it up here. Um, so they really did improve their packaging. I was happy to see that. It definitely looks nicer and just looks more like a, you know, like a grown-up hair product that'd be sitting out on your shelf. Now, as far as the ingredients on all these, they are, once again, they're, I mean, these are mass-produced products, so they are pretty massive lists. That was a lot of mass in one sentence. Um, they, they are pretty large ingredient lists, so I will have them in the description box below for you guys, but essentially, all three of them are water-based. The two messy look ones have some waxes in them, uh, as well as some Petro. And this natural look thing um, doesn't have any waxes or anything in there, but it does have some tea tree leaf extract as the last ingredient in the list. So as far as what each one of these is supposed to do, the natural look understated cream says it is a light hold with a natural finish and it's meant to texturize and condition the hair effortlessly. The messy look flexible paste one says boosts texture instantly. This is their medium hold matte finish one. And lastly, the messy look matte wax says epic hold and texture all day. And this is their high hold matte finish one. So I did this in the same vein as the last video, so I did kind of a first impressions reaction to each one in the demo footage as far as the scent, you know, application styling and endurance. So let's get started straight away with the natural look one. Yeah, so my hair is, is clean and dry and it's in a very natural look mood today. So that's why I figured we'd start with this one. So first things first, we have to check out this scent. I'm a little terrified. Oh, well, look at that. That looks nice, huh? That's... Oh god, I can smell it already. <sighs> like, I... It, it's kind of that typical Axe, like, locker room body spray smell, but then it also just kind of smells like soap. Like, straight up soap. Yeah, no, I... The more I smell it, I just... Yeah, it's kind of like, and just, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't care for that smell, but oh dear. Okay, all right. This is, all right. So, I mean, it's very soft and has a, it literally just feels like lotion. So we're going to go in with just one small uh, fingertip scoop here. Feels very slick. Absolutely no stickiness. And, um, and as expected, very slick going into the hair. No stickiness at all. No tugging, no pulling. Uh, which, you know, it should be expected of a light hold product, I suppose. I, it feels kind of oily, like I don't want to add any more because I feel like the more I add, it's just going to get shinier and more separated and then my hair is just going to feel greasy and gross. I mean, it doesn't feel bad right now. It feels soft and, you know, it, it is a light hold and definitely gives you kind of a natural look. I feel like... 
basically this is, seems like a product that you would want to use if you were super on point with your blow drying and you literally just wanted to add some something I don't know like it doesn't it, it, I don't think it added any texture either it just kind of made my hair feel a little bit softer I suppose but it also just now smells like axe which I don't love yeah anyway so I guess we'll just let it sit for uh, a while we'll come back later tonight and see how things are looking all right, so we're back. It's only about three or maybe four hours later, and I just, you know, I went outside in the humidity for literally two minutes, and you can see my waves started to come back out, so it kind of, as expected, does fuck all against humidity. So, you know, I decided to cut the endurance test short here because it doesn't, it doesn't really feel like anything. Like, I feel like if you're going for this, like, super natural and just want to add some extra softness, to your hair and maybe tame some flyaways, you could literally do that with like a couple drops of a serum or like a smoothing lotion or something. You know, having like a styling product for that is just kind of pointless. All right, friends, we're back for day two of Axe testing. So today we're gonna try out the Messy Look Flexible Paste. So let's crack this bitch open. <sighs> It's this it's kind of the same as the other one like it's It starts out with that just middle school locker room body spray smell gross And then it finishes with like a weirdly sweet almost powdery smell. I don't know. I don't I don't like that either. That's ugh. Ugh. <sighs> All right, well, let's go in and see what happens here. So all right, this one definitely has a bit more firmness to it than the other one. This, um, I, I mean, it feels pretty creamy. Feels waxy. Not sticky though. So it's uh, got a slight grip. It's pretty smooth still though, for this first scoop at least. Uh, it definitely feels like it's drying pretty quickly. The texture is looking pretty good, actually, though, um, so that's nice. I would say as of right now, it's got like a natural finish, but I'm assuming it'll probably die down to a matte once it fully dries. Um, right now, it's feeling pretty light in the hold department still, though, so I am going to go in with a second scoop here. It's definitely feeling a bit grippier now. I expected it to feel drier, though. It feels like it, I don't know, it still feels kind of oily, like it doesn't feel like a matte paste. So I'm gonna leave it at this. It feels like a fairly solid medium hold right now. Um, I really don't wanna add any more product because my hair does feel pretty saturated. Yeah, so we'll leave it at this and uh, I'll come back a while later and we'll see how this bad boy is holding up. All right, folks, it has been a solid four hours. And as you can see, the shine did not die down on this at all. So, uh, I mean, the hold is pretty good. It's definitely a solid medium hold, but it's weird. Like it has a very just waxy feel to it. And it's, it doesn't feel really heavy in the hair, like a, you know, like a pomade or, or anything, but it, it doesn't feel light either. Like it just feels, I don't know. It just feels weighed down in a way. And the, the like shininess of it, it I, the best way that I can describe it is just, it feels and looks to me like an artificial shininess. Like it doesn't, this doesn't look like a natural shine to me. I mean, so it's, it's not super shiny, but I mean, it's supposed to be matte. It's basically supposed to be a matte paste. A matte paste, this ain't. I, you know, like it's not terrible, I guess. I hate the fucking smell though. I kept like for the first couple hours, I don't really smell it now, thankfully. But for the first couple hours, I kept getting whiffs of it and it just that sickly sweetness mixed with that like horrible, just fuckboy cologne, not a fan at all. I, it's just, it's not a matte paste. It's just, in my opinion, this is very far from what a matte paste, you know, cause typically to me, a matte paste or a good matte paste should be first of all, actually matte. Um, second, they're, they're very light in the hair. You know, this is not that light and, um, and they should be fairly dry, and this is not that either. 
So yeah, I think we're kind of like 0 for 2 right now, so we shall see what tomorrow holds for us with this urban messy look matte wax. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes tomorrow, I guess. Okay, here we are, day three, once again, freshly washed and blow dried hair, which is looking fucking fabulous right now. So I'm really hoping this one maybe has a little more promise. This is their high hold matte finish one and they're calling this their messy look matte wax. So yeah, this one says epic hold and texture all day. We shall see about that. Okay, let's put our nose in first. Um, and this one definitely smells the best. This is a, the lightest of the three scents. I could barely smell it at all, actually. I hope I don't smell this one all day. Cause I don't, I mean, I still don't like it, but at least it, it's not like as, <clears throat> all right. Well, enough about its mediocre smell. Let's go in here. All right. So it's still, it's creamy. Um, let's see. Well, it definitely feels waxy as I start breaking it down. This one feels thicker. Oh God, the fucking smell is getting stronger now. <sighs> Just do it, motherfucker. Yeah, so it's still a smooth application. This one has more grip right off the bat though than the others. So maybe this will set up to be a stronger hold. But looking at it right now, like ax. If you're going for a matte finish, like this ain't it. But again, we'll, we'll give it some time because you know, there are plenty of products out there that start out with a bit of shine and then as they dry and set up, they become matte, which I thought was gonna happen with the medium hold one and did not. This at least, this one is feeling like I might not need a second scoop, which is nice. And the texture is looking pretty good right now. It's, it's not, you know, it's not bad. It's not the greatest I've ever seen, but Pretty dece. And again, they're calling it messy look, so I'm gonna go with my kind of side swoopy deal that I've been doing lately. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave this one alone. I'm not gonna add any more product because it feels fairly saturated from just that one scoop. The hold is feeling like it's setting up to be possibly a strong hold. And uh, I will come back later and we'll see how it held up and, you know, everything else. All right, folks, so here we are. It is barely four hours later, so. You know, would I call this a strong hold? No, I would call it more of a medium. Would I call it a matte finish? No. I mean, it's it, this one is more matte than the others. Let's put it that way. So I, I think of the lot, the high hold matte finish, whatever, matte wax one, I think this one performed the best of the three. Um, you know, texture's still pretty good. It's still pliable, but I, for me, it's definitely a medium hold and it's like a low shine. And it, the thing that I noticed with all of these is that the shine to me just feels weird. It feels artificial. Like it doesn't, this to me doesn't look like a nice natural shine that like my hair would actually have naturally. You know, that's the only way I can think to describe it is that the shine is just not, I don't know. Like maybe this is what people that like shine products are into, but for me, no thank you. Now, as far as the washout on all of these, at least that was pretty simple. They all pretty much came out with just water, surprisingly, even the two that had Petro in the formula. Although I did need a little bit of a shampoo to get it totally out, like when I had layered in a couple of scoops. But aside from that, they were all pretty easy to get out. So overall thoughts on these three bad boys from Axe. I, you know, there were really, I didn't like any of them. So like the natural look one, this one was basically totally pointless. It felt like it did nothing. It was just like putting lotion in my hair, which is a weird sensation. So this one goes in the bin. Uh, the medium hold messy look flexible paste one. I The only redeeming quality of this was that it actually had a medium hold. It, once again, this was not matte. I mean, this had some fucking shine going on. Um, yeah, I, it just, it, the texture was mediocre, but once again, it just, it felt heavy and waxy in my hair and it just felt weird and just gross and just made me want to like take a shower and wash it out. Yeah, so another one 
for the bit. And finally, the messy look matte wax high hold matte finish one. This one definitely performed the best of the bunch. Um, but again, it was not matte. This was closer to matte. It was closer to matte than the others. It still wasn't matte. It still had some shine. It still felt waxy and heavy in the hair. And was it a high hold? Eh, not really. I would say this was also a medium hold. So yeah, number three. Kobe! In the bin. So yeah, super disappointed in these. They were just, just not good. For instance, what I've got in today is the Oasis Clay from Templeton Tonics. And look at this bitch. If you're looking for a stronghold texturizing matte finish product, this is what it's supposed to look like. So X, if y'all are watching, I know you're not, but if you're watching, this is what a matte finish product is supposed to be. Okay. So that wraps things up for this week's episode of Budget Stuff, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I really do have a great time making these videos, so looking forward to making more of them. And once again, I will put up a poll uh, for the next one to see which brand you guys want to see me tackle next. And aside from that, uh, midweek, we've got a new skincare video coming up. I've been getting a lot of requests for that and I've just I've been using some new shit. So perfect timing. So that's happening midweek. Um, and then, yeah, next weekend, we shall see what the review is. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one. When you pass by